Polly touched on it a little bit about the international break. What exactly were you working on with your lads during that time? The Wigan plan. Yeah. Um, lots of things with the ball, more without the ball today. Um, that's it. Just the usual, the usual setup. Specifics are obviously are specifics, and but the majority of the time's been with the ball. So it's that started straight after the Burton game. And then more without the ball today, um, and, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So it's, it's, it's always how we play. Tiny little f in bits of information we give the players, dependent on you know their, their direct opponent, tactical element of Wigan. What's the key things we're seeing? But again, Wigan's played not three different ways, but you've seen three slight different changes in how they've set up in the last three games. So some of it's guesswork. Warren's had two weeks to work with his team now, mate, and probably make more changes again. Um, so in that respect, that's why it's foolish you set up to play against the team. We have to look after ourselves. So it's, it's been been about us again, our performance, and like the majority what we do with the ball, what we want to do. And um, today, brushing up without the ball. Does the fact that they're a, a team in transition with this new manager make it even tougher to predict? Does it make it an even more difficult game? What in what you're going to face? Yeah, it it, it does in a sense. That sometimes you can. You're really clear on how the game's going to pan out from minute one to ninety, and you can set. That don't mean you're going to win the game, but you know what to expect. You know what's going to happen. You can paint pictures for the players really clear. Um, to a certain degree, we can do that because we know the players, and you, you can't bring a new, totally new eleven in. Uh, but Dell have been working on different things. You know, obviously Josh is coming. We we new ideas, and there'll be I guarantee you there'll be at least two things specifically. He's been really stressing and working on. Who knows what they are. Um, but the, the the plus about always focusing on yourself and how you deal with, with certain formations, certain issues, certain things that pop up in the game is hopefully if you're seeing what they're trying to do after 10 minutes, you, the players can understand and, and take on board the information you're saying and then adapt to it. Is there anyone in particular you see as a threat? All over the pitch and and they've got a big squad as well, that, that's that's my point. If, if they had a small squad and you're looking, thinking, well, they can't really go past those 14 players for their 11, but they've got a big, big squad, um, talent everywhere, you know, back up in each position, so there's threats all over. <clears throat> and then again, it'll depend on what setup he brings. Um, whether Grigg plays up top on his own, whether he plays with out and out wingers, and Will shoots one of them, which, which side he plays on, whether he plays wingers who like to come in field and get on the ball, like Jacobs um, and Perkins. Whether well, he plays three in the middle, whether well, he plays two in the middle. At times Wigan this season have played three centre backs. They did that last season. So you, so you are guessing to a certain degree, but um, they've got threats all over, regardless of, of which eleven they put out. And it seems like an age since you last played mm. here at Oakland. It's back to back games as well. It must be great to get back. Yeah, looking forward to that definitely. Uh, and with the fact we had the international break and no game for a while, it makes it. Yeah, you, you're that much more eager to get on with it and get the games coming and then we'll get this first game out of the way and then you, you're back and, and we're just rolling forward again then all the way till I think March is the next international break so the games will come thick and fast then so um, that'll be it, we need to be ready.